Hey, happy family. It is Elon Bomani, the pajama mama today. Unfortunately, I don't have on my normal attire of pajamas, but nevertheless, we're still coming with you with some awesome information and education about how to teach typical average moms and dads be able to go out in the world and become mompreneurs and dadpreneurs because we want you to be able to fire your boss and hire your kids. It's about having a better quality of life for ourselves and our family. So today's topic, what we're going to do today is I am the guest of the show today and I'm going to talk to you about an important subject. Are you doing monkey business? What do you mean by that, Elon? In a nutshell, I've been in business for the last, oh my God, 20, 25 years in various type of business entities and things of that nature. And one thing that I found out, and I, I've learned over the course of the year, trust me, I didn't have it in the business. And I'm going to share this with you. This is really important. Do not let somebody else's opinion, acknowledgement, acceptance, approval determine your success in, in achieving your business goals. I'll give you an example. Prime example is today. I went out and basically, you know, I'm in Amazon FBA and I'm going and I'm buying pallets of items for my particular business. And the dealer that I work with, let's just say he's not a very friendly type of person. Can you say the Grinch? We're around Christmas time. <laughs> he has that type of personality. OK, so he's very, quite honestly, very disrespectful and antagonistic, you know, truck driver mentality type of thing. And that's what I have to contend with when I'm dealing with him. But the key message in the story is keep the main thing, the main thing, ladies and gentlemen. And what I mean by that is no matter what his issue is, what's your goal and what's your dream to accomplish your objective. My goal is he has some awesome products that I can get a rate of return investment of 200%. And I need those products in order to successfully run my business it's a saying that goes like this. Whatever you think about me is none of my business. And that should be your attitude too. I see so many people fail at business because they put their ego in front of their goal as far as achieving massive success. And so I never let anybody else's opinion of me interfere with me accomplishing my dreams and objectives and achieving success. Also, and what I mean by the monkey business, you know, if somebody says, oh, Elon, I'd love to work with you. We're happy. Oh, Elon, listen, I could care less if you succeed in life and I want you to fail. And then we're sad or then we're antagonistic or then we're angry and then we want to duke somebody out. But in the bottom line is, guess what? That takes you off of your path. You let them control and manipulate you in order for them to achieve their success of being a killjoy to your success. Don't get caught up into that. Don't get into ego starvation. You know, while I was in that same environment, when you see that happening, what you want to do is basically contribute to transporting that relationship. What does that mean? In a nutshell, what you want to do when you're dealing with that type of person, if someone is rude and angry and disrespectful to you, what do you do? You go back and you be rude and angry and disrespectful for them. No. That's reflection. And, and basically, they manipulate and control you. You do the complete opposite. When someone is being unloving to you, you should be loving to them. I know a lot of you are saying, I can't do that, Elon. That's okay. I couldn't do that either in the past. <laughs> I may have won a lot of wars, but I lost the battle. I'm going to say that again. I may have won a lot of wars, but I lost the battle. The bottom line, I didn't get to my end result for the sake of my ego. And nobody, ladies and gentlemen, is worth you. Okay? So in a nutshell, what I did when that gentleman was rude and disrespectful, I immediately breathed. Calm down because I don't want to bring out the Philly in me. <laughs> and I got into proper perspective. I gave him light and love. I asked him again, what was the price of that particular item? Okay, thank you very much. And I proceeded to go about my business of accomplishing my goal of investing in these products so that I can get to the next level in my life, 
In the meantime, I'm going to go next Thursday and I'm going to do business with him again and again and again and again until I get to where I want to go. Let me share with you another story. You may have heard the gentleman, um, his name is Gardner. I forget his first name, but I remember his name is Gardner. And he was the um, producer of the book, The Pursuit of Happiness. He was an African-American man that was homeless. From homelessness, he went on to building massive success in the whole financial service industry. Now, I want you to think about this. I have an affinity for that because I was homeless at one time too, so I kind of know what that is like. But you got to imagine when he, how he was able to get from the homeless status is when he was in his office and he was making those thousand and one calls to individuals to basically service them and sell them financial services, he went through thousands and thousands and thousands of calls and he came upon this one white redneck who obviously, because he was talking over the phone back in the day, <laughs> we didn't have FaceTime, we had over the phone conversations. So only he could tell via his voice, sometimes you could tell if he was black or white, whatever the case may be, but this gentleman could not tell that he was talking to a black man on the phone. And because he could not tell, because he was being himself, he talked poorly about niggers and he used the N-word and all those other derogatory comments, clueless that he was talking to a man on the phone that was an African-American. And you know what he did? Because he wanted to focus on the bottom line and get to the next level. He diverted the conversation. He stuck with the principle at hand. And he sold this man millions of dollars worth of stock. I'm going to say that again. And he had a relationship with this man over the course of 20 years. They never met physically. In the meantime... He became a millionaire, kept his eye on a prize, didn't take it personal. That's that man's issue. That You don't have to carry on and take on someone else's stuff, okay? And one day the man said, hey, let's meet. I got to meet you for lunch. I'm giving you all this money. You're making me a lot of money. Let's meet for lunch. And they did meet for lunch. And when the man walked in the door, he was completely surprised. But more importantly, he was red in the face. He was embarrassed by his conduct because he realized that he was judging the man on the content of his character and because of that character that man made him a very rich man and he profusely apologized you know for his behavior and he learned a very valuable lesson and so did Gartner because it's all about giving the love I always say this all the time and I'm going to leave you with this today and that is spread the love by spreading the word, and you'll spread the wealth, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep your eye on the prize. This, just stay in love no matter what anybody else is doing in your world. You don't have to get into their world to entertain them. You stay focused on what it is that you want to accomplish and do. And so you shall achieve those type of things for yourself and also for your family. I find that the people that are the most poorest in the world are the people that let their ego take a hold of them. Oh yeah, they're right, but they're but they're working at right aids and as a cashier or as a clerk. So you got to understand the importance of putting your pride on the back burner, keeping your eye on the prize, and don't worry about the universe will handle the details. And what I mean by that is even though Gardner took a lot of abuse you know, racial epithets and things of that nature over the course of those years. He later on, in a matter of an instant second, changed a man's mind about people and more importantly on how to treat people. And that's all that truly is important. So if someone is, 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 is being negative to you, you give them light and love, you change that vibrational frequency and you get in the business of making money. Because keep in mind, money's only, they call it currency for a reason. It's energy. So if you're in, in flux with, with when, when you're serving people and serving with love and in combination of serving that love, getting that love back from people, because that's what money's for me. <laughs> I always tell people, the amount of money that you have in your bank account is a reflection of a amount of love that you're giving. Look at Oprah Winfrey. That's why she's a billionaire. That's all Oprah does is gives out a lot of love for people and, 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 and encourage them to live an awesome life. 
Now, yeah, sure, there's some people that are billionaires and things of nature, and they're not very loving. But you have to understand the universe has a way. Count them. How many bankruptcies did he have? Three, four, five, ten, to humbling you rather quickly. So you stay in the light. You stay in the love. Because why? Love always wins. And the Constellation Prize, you may have a more cha-ching-ching and the bank account for it. Well, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for being on the Pajama Mama Show. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. If not, we will see you next time. Just 15 minutes. I always say 15 minutes to fortune. That's the goal of our show. I'm going to have guests, mompreneurs and dadpreneurs come on the show to give you tips, tricks, and tools to help you be massively successful online and even offline in business. Wish you the best of success, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Be on the show tomorrow, same time, same place, around about 12, between 12 and 12.30, and we'll give you some awesome ideas and trips, and we'll have, I, I got a great surprise tomorrow, so we'll definitely be there because I got a plan and a program that will help you achieve success in 2017. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.